Learn how to read the histogram in Capture One Pro. This photo in front of me I took in the Galapagos Islands of a few marine iguanas sunbathing at the edge of a cliff. I'm just going to make the histogram larger here. And the histogram is a graphical representation of the luminance value or the brightness value of an image. So the left hand side of the image is represented by the shadows. The right hand side is the highlights and the middle is the midtones. So it goes from the darkest to the brightest parts of the image. And the graph itself, it represents how many pixels there are in each luminance point. So you don't see a numerical value of how many pixels, but it's just a graph representing it. The main composite graph, which represents the entire RGB spectrum, is represented by the grayscale graph. And then we have the individual RGB channels of red, green, and blue. So while I'm looking around and moving my mouse around this image, you can see the orange vertical line on the histogram. And that just represents where I'm at on the histogram. You can also see at the top here, the individual RGB values, including the composite value while I'm moving the mouse around. Now, this image itself, it looks a little bit flat. You can see it's not that bright or that dark. It's lacking contrast. So there's a few ways to correct this and manipulate and read this histogram. So just to demonstrate, I'm going to overblow this image. So I'm going to increase the exposure and it's making the entire histogram or the entire image brighter. So that's why it's squeezing to the right or pushing to the right. I can do the same thing by moving it to the left and just making everything dark. And one thing is when you have clipping or you're overexposed or underexposed, you can click on the exposure warning and it'll show you the overexposed areas or the underexposed areas. Let me demonstrate a little bit more and I'll decrease the blacks and that's how it's represented. You can also go here to turn on or turn off the exposure warning or use the keyboard shortcut command E or control E. I'm going to reset this image. And one other thing you can do is how contrast impacts the photo. If you want to see a graphical representation of what contrast does, look at the histogram. Contrast increases the shadows and the highlights. So it makes the darkest parts darker and the brightest parts brighter. So you can see the histogram is getting brighter and darker at the same time. And you can see the contrast here. These marine iguanas are pretty dark now. The water here, it's pretty bright in this area, in the tides or the waves. If I do the opposite with contrast, it just squeezes everything in and pushes in the histogram, making the image look a lot more flat. I'm going to reset this here. One thing I can do is, since this image is flat, I can individually target the highlights and the shadows. So I'm going to move the highlights to the right, try to even out the exposure. And I'm going to move it and it's still going. I'm at a hundred and it doesn't all the way go to the right. You can see the blue channel does, but not the main composite channel. So one thing I can do is try to change the white point here by moving the white slider to the right and pushing it a little bit more. You do need to be careful that you don't overexpose the image or mess up the RGB channels, but if it looks good, it looks good. And then I can do the same thing to the shadows. The black point is right here. So I can move the shadows to the left, try to make the image a little bit darker and even out the histogram or evenly expose it. And I'm still missing a little bit of a gap here. So I can move the black slider or the black point to the left and see how it looks. And it looks a little bit better, but now the image looks a little bit dark on the marine iguanas on the shadows. So I'll increase the shadows here. And now it's looking a little bit better on the shadow side. And I'll decrease the blacks a little bit more. And let's take a look at the image here. Let's see the before and after. So that looks pretty good. So just by reading the histogram, and changing the exposure and HDR sliders, 
you can evenly expose or correct the exposure on your photos. Hopefully now you know how to read the histogram. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.